What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Nick here. Now, normally I would do a hashtag WWE Throwback Thursday, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for a while, and and I want you guys to post comments below and let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm going to be doing this. I'm, I'm going to be doing revealing what's been going on this week in WWE. And I'm gonna be doing that every single week. So post comments below and let me know. Let me know what you guys think. However, oh, however, I will be doing a hashtag WWE Flashback Friday on Fridays. That I will be doing. All right. So this week in WWE basically started at at, at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony on last week on Friday, where Kurt Angle, The Rock and Roll Express, Beth Phoenix, Teddy Long, Diamond Dallas Page. And more, all got inducted into the, into the Hall of Fame, and um, and it it was a huge success. The week then continued continued on to Saturday for NXT Takeover Orlando. Um, it was live. It was live at the M Wayne Center in Orlando, where um, where where we had three brand brand new N NXT titles. We had we had a new, we had new NXT tag team titles, new NXT women's title, and a new NXT championship. Um, of course, the winners were uh, were the Authors of Pain, Oscar, and the Glorious Bobby Roode. They all retained their championships. Um, and then, and, and of course, it, and of course, it was. Shinsuke Nakamura's very last match in NXT, but uh, we didn't know if he was going to be on Raw or SmackDown Live, which I will get to in in, in a second. The week then moved when the the week then continued on to Sunday this past Sunday where a lot of things happened on at WrestleMania. Of course, of course, Mojo Rawley. Won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal with the help of Rob Gronkowski, or the Gronk, if you will, from the New England from the New England Patriots. And then of course, and then, and then of course we had the return of the Hardy Boys. <laughs> um, as they entered the ladder match for the Raw Tag Team Titles, which was. Then became which then became a fatal four way. Um, we also had Brock Lesnar defeat Goldberg at WrestleMania, which was quite the ultimate, which was quite the shocker. And, and then of course we had Bray Wyatt defeat. Sorry, we had Randy Orton defeat Bray, Bray Wyatt to win his thirteenth WWE Championship. And then uh, and of course, and then of course Roman Reigns defeats the Undertaker. At WrestleMania, and what to in what could in what it was potentially to have been the Undertaker's last match. Now, now, Mar now, now, rumors have it that the the, the Undertaker is supposed was supposed to have hip replace a full a full hip replacement surgery after he had he had retired. I'm not sure if that if this was his retirement or. Uh, or what? So I'm 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 not really sure. And then of course, this past Monday on Raw, the Hardys returned to to Monday Night Raw to defend the Raw Tag Team titles against Anderson and Gallows. We had the debut of the Revival, probably one of the most hard hitting shoot tag teams in NXT. And then of course, Kurt Angle gets. Get of course Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle becomes the new Raw General Manager. And, and then and then we and then we have this superstar shakeup. I know exactly what it is. It's exactly like the draft. Exactly like the draft. But my my opinion is that I think it's going to be a little different. I'm not sure. I'll I'll have I'll have more details on it um, on Sunday or on Monday before Raw before Raw starts. And and then and, and then of course we had the return of Emma. Not not Emmalina, Emma. The Emma where she 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 always says that it's all about her and all that all, all she cares about is just 
beating people up. And then, of course, and then on, and then the main event was a tag team match between the new, between the new United States Champion Kevin Owens and his tag partner Samoa Joe against Seth Rollins, the King Slayer. And what it, and, and it was supposed to be Jericho, but because that Owens and Joe took Jericho out, Kurt, Kurt Angle said that he was going to find Seth Rollins a partner. And what a partner. I think Kurt Angle hit the jackpot. Finn Balor returns to Monday Night Raw to team up with Seth Rollins. And, and it was fitting that way because if you can believe it, it was both Balor and Seth Rollins who competed back at SummerSlam back in August for the Universal Championship. So... Monday Night Raw was pretty insane. Um, there were there were there were a lot of chants going on. There was there was the chance of Beach Ball Mania and um, and 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 there were some 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 other ones. Of course, of course, one of them was for uh, was for Roman Reigns. There was like so there there were so many chants. It was like fuck off Roman and fuck you Roman. I know that kids watch this video, but but I do apologize for 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 my language. But this is what the chants that that this is what what the fans were chanting after Roman Reigns defeated the, the Undertaker at WrestleMania the next night on Raw. Um, there was there was some other chants as well that I that I don't want to mention. But yes, but after ten minutes of 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 Roman Reigns hearing the fans, he only said. Five words. This is my yard now. Dropped the mic. Walked out. He is now the he is now the biggest heel in WWE history. For many years, for years, for the first year and a half that he did, that, that, that he was in WWE, he was a heel. You know, you know, with with Seth Rollins and. Dean Ambrose in, in the Shield. After a while, they started to get by with the fans, and 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 they became the most loved faction, one of the most beloved factions in history. That was until Seth Rollins. Well, well, we all know. And then after that, Roman Reigns, just, Roman Reigns went from being a good guy to being one of the worst heels. Probably, actually, no, one of the strangest heels we've ever had in WWE. And then, of course, this past Tuesday on SmackDown Live, um, we had a lot of major debuts. Of course, one of them was the Perfect 10. 10, 10, 10. Ty Dillinger, as he defeated Kurt Hawkins with the tiebreaker. And basically what it is, it's, it's the... It's the Ushi Goroshi move that... AJ Styles uses against his opponent. So that's exactly what the tiebreaker is. And then um and then we had Naomi defend successfully defend the SmackDown Women's Championship in her hometown of Orlando. So congrats to you, Naomi. And um and then of course the Miz and Marie's were mocking were mocking uh John Cena and Nikki Bella and uh from 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 their imitation of Cena and Bella Rumor has it that they're going to be leaving WWE for a while. And yes, the rumors are true. But for John Cena, it's because he's working on another movie. I believe it's going to be a kid's movie, just to give you guys the heads up. And uh, after and, and then after that, we had the debut of Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura interrupted The Miz and Maurice. And it was epic. Like... It's words that can't be described. And then, of course, we had the return of Eric Rowan, one of the Wyatt family disciples. So it was so. So the main event was Bray Wyatt and Eric Rowan taking on Luke Harper and the WWE champion, the new WWE champion, Randy Orton. And of course, the end result was that Orton and Harper won the match and. Bray Wyatt was just, 
you know, you know, not in a sad life. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then and, and then of course the season premiere of Total Divas yesterday. And um that 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 went well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for, for this week in WWE. Hope hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And post comments below. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And uh and, and be sure to subscribe and bell me for more. WWE and Yu-Gi-Oh! opening videos. And on that, this is your boy Nick here signing out.